Chris Stefanik here at Krakow, Poland, and I'm here in front of Wawel Cathedral, where St. Stanislaus is buried with a vial of John Paul II's blood right beneath his tomb. St. Stanislaus was the bishop in Krakow in the 11th century, and he stood up to a really harsh, really violent king for his violent way of life, for his immorality, particularly when it came to women. And he, after reaching out to the king many times and the king pushing him away, he excommunicated the king. See, it's making a statement that, hey, your soul is in danger. You need to do something to fix this situation. The king didn't choose to do anything to fix it. So the king found him celebrating mass and hacked him to death with his own hands. St. Stanislaus' witness shows us that we're to stand up to dictators, e even if it, it comes down to risking our lives to do so. You see, freedom of religion is something that St. Stanislaus and the Catholic Church has always stood for. And freedom of religion isn't just the freedom to worship behind the walls of our churches. You know, the Nazis and communists who occupied these lands would have been very happy if the bishops here just said, look, we're happy having our freedom of religion and we'll be quiet in the public square and just do our thing behind the walls of this little church here. No, that's not what it's about at all. It's about the freedom to speak to the powers that be. Uh, it's about the freedom to, to have a voice in the public arena when it comes to politics. It's about the freedom to run our businesses in accord with the dictates of our faith. It's about the freedom to raise our children and educate them in a way that, that you know, we know pleases God. That's what freedom of religion is about. Uh, the, the Polish bishops ever since St. Stanislaus have stood fiercely by that freedom of religion down to John Paul II who 900 years after the death of St. Stanislaus came back here not as Bishop of Krakow but as, as Pope and millions of people greeted him chanting we want God in the public square. Within 20 years communism had fallen in Eastern Europe without a shot being fired but they knew in 1979 they didn't have a prayer. Friends, stand up for the freedom of religion. Keep true to that spirit that the bishops of Krakow have always shown us. 